skin safety. We talk about doing all kinds of things to our skin on any given day and we're staring at it quite a bit as well. Am I right or am I right? Well, one of the fundamentals of skincare is the right sunscreen. And there's so much sunscreen confusion. So many people are not sure really what to look for on the label, what's safe, what's not safe. And you hear something different every single day. So I wanted to establish some ground rules as you guys are out there looking for the perfect sunscreen. Now, one quick tip, we should be wearing sunscreen all the time, every season, not just when we go to the beach, not just in the spring or the summer, and we really should be wearing it all year round. Well, here's the first rule of thumb. You really don't need any product with an SPF over 25. We find that that's not really very effective. We really need to be reapplying sunscreen throughout the day to really keep the exposure to our skin at a minimal. So that's rule number one, try to stay around an SPF of 25 or lower. Rule number two, we want to avoid these sprays. These sprays have a lot of box or volatile organic compounds that are not great for us anyway. So we're increasing our toxic load when we're using a spray. I know the convenience, my kids actually like them better, but we should be using creams or lotions, not the spray. So that's rule number two. Rule number three gets a little tricky. Now we get into label reading. What ingredients do you use and what ingredients do you toss? So the number one thing to avoid, all right, it's a big bunch of alphabets stuck together. So it's octibenzoate, and we'll put it up on the screen, but that's the most toxic chemical in sunscreen, and most sunscreen brands have tried to get away from it. We know that the FDA has deemed that we're not sure what it does to the body, and all of these, keep in mind, are getting absorbed through the skin, and when they do blood tests, they find these derivatives in our blood as quickly as one to two hours after application. Think about it, anything you're putting on your skin shows up in your bloodstream within an hour or two. And if you're doing it over and over again, day after day, well, you're increasing your toxic load. So let's look at this. This is a reputable brand. This was an expensive sunscreen that we bought. I think my daughter actually bought this. Guess what's in it? It has octibenzoate in it. Oh my God! Ugh, she didn't know, now we know. The other ingredient to really avoid is homosalate. And I'm saying it as I'm looking at it because I don't want to mispronounce it, but we'll put that one up on the screen too. Homosalate is sort of a grade four to six when we're looking at safety of sunscreen ingredients. So that's another one to be aware of and to maybe avoid. Now, what about the ones that work well? So here we start to see some sunscreen ingredients that are okay. They're generally recognized as safe. Number one is zinc oxide. So get that good old tube of zinc out and just plaster yourself in it, right? Maybe not, not the best look for summertime or any time, but zinc oxide is safe. Titanium dioxide is generally recognized as safe as well. And then the next ingredient is avobenzone, which is where many brands are transitioning to in terms of where and how they make their sunscreen. So for example, this one, the dominant ingredient is 3% avobenzone. So that one's generally recognized as safe as well. So again, the rules of sunscreen safety, reapply, use all year round, creams and lotions, not sprays, avoid oxybenzoate, zinc oxide is your best bet, titanium dioxide after that, avobenzone, and maybe the third priority there. And you can find all of this and a lot more information about this on the EWG site. So that's the Environmental Working Group. You can go to ewg.org and they have a whole list of sunscreens that they have vetted and talked about what might be safe and what might not be safe. So take a look at that and check that out. And if you're trying to figure out what your toxic load is remember I have a quiz to help you determine your toxic load on my website drtaz.com check it out under take the test so that you can help yourself and your family bring down the load of toxins in your life if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe I post new videos every Thursday